I'm here today to talk about a crisis unlike uh, we've ever known. President Obama unveiled his ambitious plan to help up to 9 million American homeowners on Wednesday. It's an issue that has resisted easy answers in the two years since the housing crisis began. And the steps I've outlined today are a sensible response to a serious challenge. In 2007, as prices began to fall rapidly, the Bush administration's initial response was modest. Edmund Andrews has been covering the crisis. Their approach was entirely voluntary, based on the idea that you could persuade lenders to voluntarily renegotiate loans and keep people in their ho homes. They made not a dent in the foreclosure wave, truthfully. One reason for confidence is that the downturn in housing comes against the backdrop of solid fundamentals in other areas. What happened was that the falling housing market contributed heavily to the subsequent decline in the economy overall. On the campaign trail, then Senator Obama took notice and ramped up his rhetoric, but offered little in the way of specifics. Last year, I wrote to the Secretary of the Treasury uh, to make sure that he understood the magnitude of this problem and to call on him to uh, bring all the stakeholders together to try to deal with it. So By the time President Obama was inaugurated, the housing situation was getting more dire every month. Through the Treasury Department, the new administration took their first attempt at the bank bailout plan, which includes President the mortgages. But it fell flat, largely because of a lack of details. This strategy will cost money, it will involve risk, and it will take time. They came out with a plan that was transparently lacking in critical issues, and they got hammered for it. Can't tell you that at this point, but if we think there's a good case for doing it, we're going to come tell you how, to, how we're going to do it. Uh, okay, good. Uh, so you have no clue. <laughs> Which brings us to today. The president did unveil a more detailed plan, but he faced a political conundrum. It is impossible to understate the magnitude of the resentment by people across the country at the very idea that their never-do-well neighbors might be getting a bailout and they, the responsible homeowners, are, are getting nothing. This is really grating to a lot of people. Mr. Obama had this in mind during his speech. The plan I'm announcing focuses on rescuing families who've played by the rules and acted responsibly. I want to be very clear about what this plan will not do. It will not rescue the unscrupulous or irresponsible by throwing good taxpayer money after bad loans. It will not help speculators. The plan has two central components. The first will help distressed homeowners by creating a $75 billion program to subsidize loan modifications. Any institution that wishes to receive financial in uh, assistance from the government, from taxpayers, and to modify home mortgages will have to do so according to these guidelines, which will be in place two weeks from today. The second major component is aimed at the much larger number of people who are not in immediate distress but are paying high rates. It could also help relieve these homeowners who might be angry that their seemingly irresponsible neighbors are being rescued. It'll allow millions of families stuck with loans at a higher rate to refinance. And the estimated cost to taxpayers would be roughly zero. The bulk of the plan may actually happen quite quickly as it does not need any additional congressional approval. They have the authority, they have the money, they don't need Congress to give them the green light to do that. This could be something that begins to affect people in a matter of a month or two. It's, it's possible. It's not easy, but it's possible.